Today in math grade one, we are doing lesson number 12. And lesson number 12 is going to continue our counting up through the number 60. Now, 60 of something looks kind of like this. Okay, so we've got these x's grouped together in groups of 10 each. So there's 10 right there. And then 10 more makes 20. And then 10 more makes 30. 10 more makes 40. 10 more makes 50, and then 10 more makes 60. And we'll do some practice counting up through 60 in just a minute. But first, let's think about possibly some places you've seen 60 in real life, things that have 60 in them. Hmm, let's see. Well, I know one place that you may have seen 60 of something is if you look on a clock, the face of a clock, um, it's actually got 60 minutes on it. So if you, for example, let's see, if you look here, like the numbers, like the space from the top of the clock here to the 1, to the 2, to the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then to 12, in between here, you got 5 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 more minutes takes it to here, and then that's 10, and then 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, 45, 50 minutes, 55, 60 minutes. Now we'll learn more about clocks and time and telling time and all, but I just wanted to show you how a clock, if you look at a regular clock face, it's got 60 minutes. So that's a place that we see 60 anytime we see a clock. Uh, a stopwatch is the same way. An old-fashioned stopwatch, it looks like this. Have you ever seen one? Uh, they're kind of kind of interesting to to look at and to use. You push this button up here and it'll tick 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 the seconds off. And probably the most famous way we've seen 60 minutes is on the TV show 60 minutes. It's got a stopwatch on there. And there's even a decade in if you study history in your history class later on in school you'll learn about the decade called the 60s, the 1960s. And some famous historical figures um, that you learn about during that time. And you might even know somebody who's celebrating their 60th birthday or has celebrated their 60th birthday, which would be a lot of candles on the cake, huh? Well, think of some other places that you might see 60, either in the number of something or just, you know, the figure written out 60. Well, this is a highway sign. If you live in Arizona, you'll see a U.S. 60 sign. If you live in California, there's a highway 60 sign. If you live in Minnesota, there's a Highway 60 sign. Well, those are just a few examples of places in real life or things that you can see 60 in. Now let's do a little practice of counting to 60. So we've left off, we've been counting up through our numbers. So far we've gone from 1 through 10, and we know that that looks like this with our familiar little yellow stars. And then if we add 10 more to that, we've got 20 now. And if we added 10 more, well, now we've got 10, 20, 30. And if we add 10 more, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. And if we add 10 more, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So now if we want to continue that, we'll just add a few more stars to get us to 60. So just like we've been doing, we're only have to going to add another 10 stars to get to 60 from 50. So there's star number uh, 50 right there. So this is going to be star number what? This is going to be star number 51. And then what? 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Well, that's how easy it is to get our count up through 60 for today. So now what we want to do is go back and continue our, our figures we left off at 50 last time, and so today we're going to do our writing of the numbers from 51 through 60. So 51, of course, is going to be it's going to be a 5 and a 1, isn't it? And 52 is going to look like this, 5 and a 2. And then 53 is going to be a 5 and a 3. 54, so 5 and a 4, and then 55, 5, 5, 
56. It's going to look like that. 57, like so. 58, it's a 5 and an 8. 59 is a 5 and a 9. And then 60, which is where we're going to stop in our figure writing. 60, okay. Let's see, did we get them all? 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. We did. Okay. Now what you could do is get out a sheet of paper and if you want to watch the video again to review that you can, but you can if you're ready to, you can go on to practicing writing the numbers from 51 through 60. So we'll continue our figure writing. So let's say here on our sheet of paper we want to do a 51. Well, that's going to be like that. And you can write a row of these if you want, just to get some practice at it. But your next number would be 52, and that's going to look like this. 52. And then 53. And then 54. 55. Let's see if we can squeeze that in here. Okay. And then I'll put it right here. 56. 57. 58. 59. And 60. Okay, so that's what our numbers look like from 51 through 60. So you can uh, practice writing those just to get good at that. We'll bring our counting up through 60, and we'll do some more of that this week. We'll even count higher. We'll go to 70 as we go through this lesson. And so, again, you can review the video. You can watch it again. You can practice writing 51 through 60. And if you really want to get a lot of work done, you can do 1 through 60. But look at things in real life that maybe count up to 60, like we saw clocks and signs. Whenever you see 60, you can notice it and say, hey, there's a 60. I know what that is. Well, we'll continue this in our next lesson, and it's going to be lesson number 13. We'll see you for that one.